I'm Matt Lancashire from Ray White at New Farm and today I'm fortunate enough to have the King of Architecture Australia and we're at the property 33B Harbour Road, Balaam. So Sean, tell me a bit about this place. Matt, so thank you very much for the invite and very humbling words. I don't know if I meet uh, all of those expectations but certainly this project has been a career defining project for me. When I started this project, I was at the beginning of my residential sort of uh, journey in Australia, and what this project has come to mean in my life is extraordinary. And I'm really excited about you being able to list this and show people through it. It's going to be a fantastic journey. Awesome. Well, can you tell us a bit about the product? You just mentioned here it's all form concrete. Yeah. Before we get into that, how long was the build? So this was about two and a half years, all up, uh, beginning to end. And I think it's safe to say that in terms of uh, complexity of build, uh, this project is about as difficult as it gets. While at the end of it, it all looks reasonably simple, the concrete itself is all a white concrete with Stradbroke Island sand. Um, it's all 40 MPA concrete, which meant that we couldn't pour any of it in summer because it gets too hard. The timber is all a specific timber that allows it to grey off beautifully so you don't have to maintain it. Which it has. It, which it has beautifully now after a number of years. And then the rest of all the dark timber that you see in the house is all the Australian Jarrah, which um, now is even, isn't even available. So a lot of the things that we did on this house really are things that we would even battle to achieve today. Well, I feel really, really humbled on two factors. One, I'm with standing next to the king, <laughs> uh, and he's been fortunate enough to be able to um, come and show us all through, which we're gonna do. And we've got the whole team from SLA here, no, um, which is awesome. We'll have a look in. And the second thing is I've been engaged to sell this unbelievable home. Uh, it's, I've sold it once before and we broke the Brisbane record um, and it was one of the most recognised homes in Australia and you know the one thing I love about Sean and what he's doing in his own business is he's taking the boundaries and pushing it again and for 12 years ago this house was so far ahead of its time yeah. coupled with an open checkbook and <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Uh, is the only way with the master of ar architecture and an open checkbook is how you create something like Balaam. So why don't we just go and have a look inside. Can't wait. Beautiful. I'll follow you. So, I mean, I, th I think one of the things that I loved about this project is that there are really only a handful of materials on the job. So the Jarrah runs through on everything. So there's this Fibonacci rhythm of all solids, which you'll see through all the wall panelling. And then there was one tile which uh, is a reconstituted stone tile, uh, which at the time, and still to this day, was one of the most expensive tiles that uh, was available in the market. And, and that's an Italian stone? This is an Italian stone, and you can see how well it's aged after you know, the years that it's been here. This living space really, for me, is perhaps one of the most, one of my favorite spaces that we've ever worked on. I think, you know, these kind of invisible edges that really allow you to enjoy the river and unlike a lot of um, riverfront property in New Farm where you have walkways in front of it you do risk a certain amount of privacy You've got loss. total privacy. You've got complete privacy so you really have to walk to within a meter of the glass to actually have any sense of there being a public walkway. This main bedroom is pretty special and I think you know, one of the things that um, was really deliberate with this space as well is that sometimes I think in these houses you can have these ridiculously overscaled main bedrooms and, yeah. and we see this as a kind of main bedroom world rather than just a main bedroom. So you've got the main bed itself obviously. Um, that then goes through to the retreat which is that quasi nursery and then you've got the um, his and hers bathrooms and robes, which is something you know that uh, you don't see in you too don't many see it. houses. No, well, you, no one has the actual space or to be able to build something no. like this to actually have his and hers. <laughs> well, from memory, from the outside of the hers to the outside of the his was 13 meters. Wow! So it's uh, some fairly serious amenity for um, the lucky couple that live here. Out onto um, the terrace, there's. Um, really quite an enviable view. Never to be built out. Never to be built out. And just, yeah, direct river frontage. And that's very special. And the, the, the lovely thing about the way the house is actually sited um, with 
effectively a great deal of air between this and um, the house next door is that there's this lovely sense of kind of almost oasis in the middle over here that preserves all the access to the north light. So, you know, come summer or winter, I mean, here we are in the middle of winter and, um, you know, we've been drowned in sun, which is something very special. And even, even the, the, the screen out here as well, um, you know, the, the beauty of this is that this has got this lovely rhythm of timber and then the, 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 this screen can then push out over the corner of the glass so that in summer you can actually enjoy So know, that the, becomes a total screening it becomes as well? It becomes a total block out. Wow. So that guy just, you know, continues to push out over there and you get this beautiful rhythm of light um, breaking through the space and the blades are deliberately angled so that in the late afternoon when the southwestern sun hits it the timber takes out all the sting and you get this beautiful reflected light through in this lovely air. So it's essentially through. taking advantage of the western sun? Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, look at this, kids heaven. Oh, it's unbelievable. So it really is. The AstroTurf just is a, is a great transition where, you know, obviously on this side here, you're not going to get as much natural light. No. Um, and then with the, the kids' playground, the security and everything you've got, yeah. it just, um, it's, it's essentially just a big architectural compound. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, it's the kind of ultimate sort of urban kids' playground. And, uh, you know, the gates that allow you to access the courtyard through and even for little storage and kids' toys, there's even a little shutter in the wall so you can actually store the kids' toys away. I think the total uh, gross building area of this house was in the order of about 1,400 square metres. 1,400 square yeah. metres. Yeah. So it's a lot of house. So and particularly across, you know, you've got a 1,609 square metre riverfront block. Yeah. Um, I just don't know of any other properties particularly. Well, there's only two properties in this area in Hamilton Correct. that are on the riverfront, which is here and uh, the Lorna Jane property, which is next door. Yeah. So no, it is. It's a very, very unique offering. I mean, there. If you want to live waterfront in Hamilton, you've got one of two chances to option. do it, and this is it. And even, even um, as far as your engagement to the river on this side, um, you can see that the screen has been set up so that it just love, frames the river and city beyond, and you have absolutely no sense of any public below. So Sean, it's been an absolute pleasure to, for you to actually <laughs> show me what, um, what this house has to offer. And like I said, I've spent an enormous amount of time here. And every time I come back again, there's something else that I learn about it. And um, so it's gonna be quite depressing going back to my little <laughs> shanty um, at home tonight. And uh, mate, congratulations on, on this. And for, 12 year, for being 12 years old, I feel like I'm in a house that should be created in 12 years time from now. Yeah. Uh, so it's like a, a, a timeless architectural masterpiece. So. No, thank you very much, Matt. I mean, it really, uh, it's, it's humbling for me to even come back here. I mean, this, this house is so much a big part of my life. And because of the relationships that started with this house, they've continued to endure. Even our relationship um, you know, on this house alone has been a story of its own. And for us to be able to come back here and show this house off, it's not a job, it's not something I have to make up, it really is a function of us just telling a story about something that I've poured my heart and soul into and I couldn't be more excited about seeing well, it Well you listed. can see it in every nook and cranny and every turn um, that there has been a, a lot of blood, sweat and tears and um, even emotional investment oh, which has gone into this. Absolutely. So congratulations. Thanks, Thank mate. you mate. Thanks and good luck. <laughs>